my name is Nikki Payne and I'm going to talk to you about interview techniques. So if I introduce myself, as I said, I'm Nikki Payne. I'm a liaison manager for Balfour BT and I'm currently working on a project in Kings Lynn for our client Kings Lynn Drainage Board. And I thought it might be interesting to go through um, firstly to see to just have a talk about what employers are looking for in their future employees. So they're looking for candidates with certain key skills and you might have heard these referred to as transferable skills or soft skills and they're skills that all of us have and that we just develop through the course of our lives and through the course of our careers. So some of those key transferable skills that we like so much as an employer um, I've written down here. So communication really really important to have good written and verbal communication skills teamwork it's really important to be a team player we really want to know that you can do that um, to have a positive attitude to be motivated and enthusiastic um, we can teach you most skills but it's important that you're enthusiastic and receptive to learning new things the ability to build relationships with others to be a good problem solver and to be well organized those are all really really key skills and you need to try and refer to those and demonstrate them in your cv um, and also remember that you will probably be asked about them at interview as well so try and have some examples that will back them up so before you apply for a job you will need a cv um, a cv is literally translated the course of life and it's a record of your work history skills and qualifications it's evidence to the employer that you can do the job that you've applied for and the employers obviously use your CV to identify um, you as a potential candidate for the job. So it's absolutely essential that your CV is good. So make sure you spend time to make it the best it possibly can be. Remember, the CV is a vital selling tool. It's selling you to the employer and it's usually their first interaction with you. So it's your first chance to impress. Make it good. So your CV was good and you've been invited to interview, well done. Now you need to prepare for the interview and you need to remember that preparation is key to success because it's going to make you feel much more at ease on the day of interview. How do you prepare for the interview? Well, read that job advert, make sure you know exactly what the employer is looking for. The job advert basically is telling you what we're looking for. So make a note of any questions that you might want to ask, um, because if you ask those questions in, in, in an interview, it shows that you are really enthusiastic about the job. Think about the job and what questions the interviewer might ask you. Now, I've, I've written some questions down here that you probably will be asked. Um, one of those questions is a horrible one. What are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? So. You never want to look as if you're a show off um, talking about your strengths, but this is the time that you need to. Um, so think about what your skills are, what your key strengths are. Try and relate those to that job advert um, and what the employer is looking for and try again and have examples to back them up. What are your weaknesses? Again, a really difficult question because we don't want to tell people what we're not very good at, but try and think of a weakness that can be looked at in a positive light. Um, for example, you know, sometimes it can take me a long time to do, uh, to get a job done because I've got such attention to detail. That's a, a weakness that could be perceived as a strength as well. You'll be asked what are your key strengths? What are skills that, are that you have that will be important to this role? So have um, an answer ready for that question. Um, how do you deal with difficult situations? Again, have an answer prepared and an example of when you might have had to do that before. Um, are you able to prioritise? Again, an example would be good of you when you've had to do that in the past. Can you describe yourself? Would you describe yourself as a team player? Have you got an example of when you've when you've um, worked as part of a team? And also, you know, why do you want to work for this company? What makes you the person for the job? Uh, it's good to have that answer prepared so it's not going to take you um, unawares. Make sure that you research the company. You will definitely be asked why you would like to join the company or what you know about the company. So make sure that you have some key facts about the company and you've done your research. We want to think that we're the company for you, that you, you want to come and work for us. So it's very easy to do. Go onto a company website, look at the About Us section, and that will show you some of the key facts about the company. Prepare notes you can take along with your CV and your application letter. Uh, check the time, date and location at least a couple of days beforehand so that you can plan your route, you can decide exactly how you're going to get there, etc. Um, take a phone contact for the day as well. 
We do realise as an employer that some things happen and that you can't do anything about it. But if you give us a call and say, I'm so sorry, I'm going to be delayed, I'm going to be late, or I'm so sorry, I'm not going to be able to make the interview, would it be possible for us to rearrange? That would be much better than not phoning up at all, um, which would be obviously considered to be rude and you probably wouldn't be asked to interview again. Dress standards are also obviously very important. So make sure you and your clothes are clean and tidy. Your appearances are a reflection of you and how professional you are. Um, so you need to make sure that you look smart and clean. At the end of the day, if you were to get the job, you'd be re representing the company. So the employer needs to be reassured that you're going to be able to represent them in a professional manner. So the day of interviews arrived, you've done your preparation, you've dressed appropriately and you've arrived on time, but you're really nervous. It sounds silly, but try not to be. An interviewer will try and put you at your ease. Remember, we've all had interviews as well, so we do know how you feel. Um, we've also had probably quite a few CVs coming through and we have identified your CV as somebody that we think would be good for the job. So we want you to do well in an interview and we will do our absolute best to put you at your ease. Remember, first impressions count. Speak clearly, be polite to the receptionist and introduce yourself clearly and turn off your mobile phone. Also remember that your interview starts the minute you set foot on that company premises. So make sure that you are polite and professional as soon as you arrive. Sit straight even when you're waiting, shake hands when you meet the interviewer, maintain good eye contact and try and smile through the interview. I know you'll be nervous, but do try and smile. Have your notes handy. Um, you can always ask the interviewer if you mind if they mind you referring them to an interview throughout the interview. They wouldn't be at all um, upset about that. They'd be quite happy for you to do that. Um, don't swear or use slang and be aware of your body language. The unspoken word can be the loudest. So I've got some top tips, some do's at an interview. Definitely do quote real examples wherever you can. Take your time to answer questions. Don't be afraid to ask the interviewer to repeat the question if you've misheard it or ask them to clarify if you've misunderstood the question. And as I said, try and have some questions prepared to ask at the end. Some top tips and don'ts of interviews. Try and avoid topics such as religion or politics um, unless they're totally relevant to the question that's been asked. Don't criticise people you know that are currently working at the company or any other company. Um, and similarly, don't criticise your former company or former managers or uh, colleagues. Don't argue with the interviewer or lie. So at the end of the interview, you'll usually be asked if you have any questions and try and have a question prepared because that means that when you ask a question, you won't feel unsettled. So maybe a question you could prepare is, you know, um, is there potential for career progression? Um, would there be training possible within the role? What is the company culture like? All of those questions are, are telling the employer that you're interested in the role and you're interested in working for the company. And you're also interested in you know, potentially progressing within the company. Thank the interviewer for their time. If you haven't already asked um, when you might know the outcome, then this is probably the time to ask and shake hands and leave. And remember, the interview isn't just about whether the employee would like you to work for for them and whether they want you for the job. It's also about you deciding whether it's the right job for you and it's the right company for you. So don't be afraid to ask questions that will enable you to make the right decision. Well, that's it. The very best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye.